Hello everybody! Welcome to this episode of Plant Heartbeats. Today is going to be very exciting. We're going to transform my back patio. I'm so excited. I've lived in this house for a good eight years and never have really taken advantage of my backyard. Um, when we bought this house, we basically started renovating the whole house. This is a 1936 house where I live at. So we've been doing a big home renovation. But now, especially with COVID, we're all spending a lot more time in our houses and little by little, we're seeing things that we can um, improve to make it more comfortable, aren't we? One of them obviously has been my inside of my house by putting more plants inside of it. It's definitely created this relaxing oasis. But I really wanna do an outdoor area where I can invite friends and I can be cozy and comfortable and see the colors, see the decorations that I like and see my beautiful plants. It is spring, so it's time that I can bring a lot of my indoor plants outdoors. So I'm excited to do that too. Um, so I'm gonna show you um, how this whole transformation goes, okay? Hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully you find something um, useful. Maybe you're planning on doing some kind of home renovations. I am gonna try to do this, to do this as cheap as possible. I don't have a lot of money to work with. So everything I do, I'm gonna try to find it what I want and the cheapest that I can find with the best reviews. That's basically how I try to shop when I shop. So I'm going to start with some footage where I'm going to show you how my back patio area looks like right now or at the beginning. Let's show you. Welcome to the back of my house. <laughs> um, this is what I have to work with right now. This is my backyard and uh, when we moved into the house, we worked in the inside, but not the outside. It already had this, it's a carport, we believe, but it's a very odd carport. So we've never used it as to put our cars in there because you would have to go in through the grass area. We had a little garden last year and that's how this grass looks kind of ugly there. So there's a lot to do in this back area because it could be nice. Um, if we look at those, the piece of land, it's not too big, uh, well, it's, it's big enough and there's a lot of mature trees that create lots of shade in this back area and makes you, even though we live in city, it makes you look, feel like you're out there in nature. So we have wanted to use this space and wanting to use this space, we, uh, my husband and his uh, father built this, this big, table it's a 12 foot long table as you can see here but it's an unfinished project so i'm gonna show you what are the problems back here and what are the things that i'm thinking off the top of my head that i'm wanting to do to make this backspace become a beautiful uh, oasis i guess a place to come back and relax and enjoy so let's review some things that i'm thinking of doing just so we can see if they come about or not these little butterflies gotta go i had got them when we just moved into the house probably bought them in clearance somewhere i've just kind of put whatever i find somewhere and uh, it needs to go uh, that's where the barbecue is at uh, and then let me show you some the furniture pieces that i have right now this is a, a co-worker of mine gave them to me when she was moving and honestly uh, it's pretty good except that I've had it in the outside in the rain and I've never really taken care of it so um, it's like rough looking and uh, I'm planning on re spray painting this basically because it's lost its shine you see it looks really worn so I'm gonna spray paint it, that's what my thoughts are, to give it a nice fresh look to it. But I'm gonna spray paint it like a light tan color. I wanted to get one as natural looking as wood looking or the rattan, but I couldn't find it. Um, so anyhow, that's my plans here. And this is a table that was built, which is pretty amazing. It's nice and sturdy. Um, and uh, it was, it stayed in the bottom and it was painted in white on the top but it, there was no coating to protect it so it started getting some mold so that was not good so 
we're gonna sand it down and I think I'm just gonna do uh, varnish it like just so it can shine and we can see the wood coloring of it so I think that's what the plan is because basically it has not been used much I really don't have any chairs to go with it I'm thinking if I can purchase some in a good price I would get some so it can give it a complete look um, and then this is another piece that I'm trying to rescue that uh, somebody gave it to me basically you can it rocks a little bit and uh, it's I've been trying to use it I yet bought did this so we could try to put some cushions on it but right after I had painted it because it was like black and really rough looking painted it white I did this so we could put the cushions on the top it broke like here it broke and as much as I'm trying to figure out how to the wood part broke so we're gonna t try to fix it somehow or another um, give it some cushions and maybe use it because it is made out of wood and I wouldn't want to just give it away or throw it away okay um, another pro problem you see how we can see the neighbor's backyard so we're definitely gonna have to hang some kind of curtains here to do some privacy and not see the neighbor's yard as you can see I've already hanged out hanged up some lights um, and they look pretty cool but there's still a lot to do um, this i've had them up for a good two years now um we need to pressure wash and clean of course it is the backyard uh these things have to go i think they're to, to dry your clothes but we don't use it so it needs to go it's really rusted and ugly looking um let me show you what else uh we do have a fire pit we got this back fall but i want to create an area where we can enjoy the fire pit usually we just took it to the grass and put some chairs and enjoyed it but i want to create an area for this fire gas fire pit so we can enjoy it um i want to give you a look from this angle so you can appreciate uh, the nice mature trees that we have looking you see this tree it's so big and mature and I love it. So uh, we can create the space, make it look really nice. I think we can appreciate our backyard a lot more. Uh, of course, I would ideally love to have a beautiful privacy fence, but uh, one step at a time, right? So for now, we're gonna do what's quickest and fastest so we can already enjoy this spring, our back area. Okay, so I hope this gave you a little idea of what we're working with and uh i think it's time to just start working right and we can enjoy this backspace so as you can see we have some good space to work with but it definitely needs a transformation doesn't it uh, but i think it can be done so i'm so excited okay so the fir first thing when right now planning my backyard is i wanted to find a nice sectional outdoor couch sofa to have out there because I've always dreamed of being able to lay down <laughs> outdoors and take a little nap on a beautiful uh, 70 degree day. And with chairs, you can't always do that. So I was looking for a sectional that I could lay down or have an ottoman where I can put my legs up and just make it comfortable, not just chairs. So I did some research in online, trying to score, you know, Google it, find the different stores that had different sections for outdoors. And I ended up choosing one from Amazon. I chose it because it had very good reviews and it was the cheapest one I could find. So I'm gonna insert here a little clipping of uh, a screenshot of what I ended up buying, okay? So you can see a little bit. So this is the sectional um, sofa that I ordered from Amazon. It was about $349, so it was the cheapest I could find. Um, let's see if it does what I want it to do at a low cost. Let's put it together and see how complicated this is. But as you can see, um, it's a five piece section, I believe. And it's, I liked it because it was the biggest I could get for the lowest amount of money, $350. Um, and the reviews are really good on it. I did choose the tan color because my other options were very colorful. Like I think it was red, maybe blue. And uh, I wanted to keep this as neutral as possible. So purchase that one. Next thing, um, I wanted to purchase a area rug. I think area rugs really 
transform a space. I've noticed it here in my living room by adding the area rug since I have hardwood floors. It really gave it a zone, an area where you can kind of feel like you can put your feet down and enjoy it. Um, and it just gives you a focal point. So I definitely wanted an area rug. I already had purchased one for my front porch that I really liked. It was made out of rec recycled plastic. So I started Googling and searching for that. And again, I bought it from Amazon. And I'm gonna put a little um, clip in here of what I ended up buying. As you can see, uh, the one I purchased is black and white. I wanted, uh, definitely not a colorful one, but I wanted one that demanded attention. So black and white is what I ended up choosing. Um, I wanna say that my style of my house is becoming boho slash farmhouse. I feel like the farmhouse look goes with my house because it is an older house. And I feel like the boho goes because I love to travel uh, and I love plants and I love textures. I, so I like those light, soft colors, those earthy colors uh, with the neutral colors, but I also like those blacks in it. So anyhow, that's basically what's turning up to be inside my house. So that's basically what I'm bringing in the outside of my house. So, um, I, I, that's, that area road the rug was $99, but it's really big. Um, so I thought that was okay and that was good and the reviews were so good. I wanted something that could be washed off, hosed off easily, cleaned off easily. And that's what this uh, recycled plastic material is good for, for these area rugs. Okay, so next thing um, I have purchased online is uh, Macrame Swing. And I purchased that today. I haven't received it yet, but I ended up choosing which one I wanted. And I think it's really cute. Let me insert a clipping of what I ended up purchasing. So I've always wanted one of these swings. I think a lot of us might have wanted one of those and I had thought about if I wanted it in my living room. But at the same time, I know my living room, um, I have so many plants. I can't be swinging all over the place because I might knock down some plants. So outside patio porch uh, would be perfect for that. So ended up choosing one and I'm so excited to finally have one and I think it's perfect to swing outside. So yeah, an adult swing, beautiful boho style. Yes, macrame, yes. So hopefully that will turn out like I want it. Um, next thing, um, I already own some old string lights that I'm gonna put all around that area, but I've already planned where I wanna put my table and it's gonna be out in the grassy area. So for that, I wanna actually put more hanging lights in that area to also add attention to the top of that table. And at nighttime, that's gonna be so special, so beautiful. So um, I'm gonna uh, order some and I chose which ones I wanted. So I'm gonna put a little clip here of what I ended up buying. Again, I am searching for the cheapest and the best reviews. And I know I need 80, 48 uh, feet. So that's basically what I'm purchasing. So I think those are the, all the items for now that I've purchased online. And now I'm gonna show you what I've purchased so far at the store. So I'm trying to find little decor uh, pieces and a lot of pillows. So that's what I have here and I am ready to show you and excited to show you. Um, so one of the things I showed you that I wanted to renovate was like a, uh, I guess rattan, I think you call it, chair that you saw there that I said somebody gave me from Pier 1 and it's in not very good condition. Um, so basically I want to either pressure wash it and uh, maybe it's gonna look good that way or I'm gonna have to pay spray paint it. But I wanted new cushions for that. So I ended up finding this one and uh, I already tested it and it does uh, fit perfectly. So I'm thinking of doing something like this and a nice big, uh, maybe a pillow, something like this. I ended up buying this one this is Lowe's and it was like $19.99 and this is Target. And this is from the Threshold um, line, which should be a good line. And it does have the UV treated resistant for against fading. So I thought that was really good. And this was about $20, but I did want to make sure I got a good quality for my outside pillows, just because they're going to be exposed to a little the environment. So I think this is gonna be good. Uh, there's a little bit of a dark blue, but I'm gonna use that one chair. It's gonna have some blue in it. So I thought that would 
mix it and incorporate it. That's gonna be basically the only color that's not true true that I'm gonna use. Okay, so that's that. And um, I bought this one here at Lowe's. And I thought that was so cute, right? So cute uh, in boho, um, 20 bucks. It is in the, from the outdoor section. Hopefully it's gonna be a good one. Um, and I need to go grab some more that I have in it, that I didn't bring here with me and I'll go get it in just a moment. Some more pillows. Give me just a second. So I got them already. Um, so I basically bought this pillow and I bought two of these same ones. This is a very big one too. It's like a 20 by 20. And it's also from the Threshold brand from Target. And it also is UV treated for, you know, fade resistant. So I really like this. The material that it's made out of, I think it's definitely gonna go with the style I'm going for, that boho style. And I really like the back because it's white and it has a little bit of light blue. And like I said, there's gonna be a little bit of blue. So I wanted uh, it to kind of, I thought it would work with a good mix. And I also wanted to get another long pillow and I got this one. This one is from, excuse me, this one was again $20 and this one's from Target also and this one is also, I believe, from that same threshold, but it didn't have the same type of tag, but it wasn't the same section. And this one was about 20 bucks also, but I liked it because it has the white and then it has this little light tan color that I really, really enjoy. So I thought it could be a nice pop. Now, I didn't love the idea of paying $20 per pillow, but I do feel like pillows make a big difference in the space. So I thought I'm gonna bite the bullet, like they say it, and buy them, um, especially if they're better quality pillows and they'll last me longer. Um, but if I don't use, end up, if I wanna play with these pillows and if I don't end up using all of them, then I'll return whatever I don't use. But so far, that's what I'm, I bought. And uh, today I went to Walmart and uh, I found, these pillows and these are five dollars at walmart and i bought two of these they do have a zipper where you can unzip it and wash it and i think that was for five bucks i thought it would be cool to play with this and see how can this can add a little accent here or there so i got two of these five bucks that's really good right and um i ended up also going to uh oh this is also another find from tj maxx okay tj maxx here so for that long 12 foot table, um, like I mentioned, the plan is to sand it down, restain it, varnish it, and I wanted a runner. So this is the runner that I ended up buying. It feels like it's, I don't know what material it is. Let's see. It says 100% cotton, so it's good material. And uh, I like it has these little tassels and it's a black and white. So I, it is going to go with the color scheme that I have going on. Basically, like I said, black and white. I have those 10 wood colors and um, I'm going to do, okay, green of plants. <laughs> uh, and then also I stopped by at five below guys. I have not walked in there in a long time. And I found this tassel rug. Look at the colors, black, white, tan, exactly what, what I'm trying to style with. And it does have the little ends with the tassels. So for five bucks, yeah, I picked this baby up. But it could come in useful, so I picked it up. Um, so guys, I think this is a great find too, price-wise, five below right now. Okay, so um, also got at Walmart today this. And I had shown it to you guys that it was arriving to Walmart. And I had not purchased one, but it's been arriving this spring to many Walmarts. And I loved it when I saw it, but I didn't pick it up. But now I thought I would pick it up because I thought 20 bucks and you see the colors, I think it's gonna it's gonna make such a statement with a nice big plant that uh, I thought it would be worth a 20 buck investment, 19 something. So I have a lot of plants in my house. And so I'm gonna walk around my house and I'm gonna try to find what plants I have that would do good in that area. Um, I'm thinking bird of paradise, I'm thinking fiddle leaf tree, and I'm thinking monstera, I'm thinking uh, trailing plants like some pothos, I'm thinking succulents, uh, bromeliads, that's what I'm thinking, but definitely going to put some plants out there. So, okay, so that's plant there, and then work with other stuff that I have here in the house, acid baskets or terracotta pots and all that. 
Um, so that's it of the physical purchases that I have right here with me. But um, I did also go to Lowe's today, okay? It was time to buy something to create that uh, privacy uh, fence wall that I wanted be, uh, between me and the neighbors. So ended up thinking of just buying a curtain outside patio uh, shade. So, and went and bought some other stuff at Lowe's today that we're gonna need to also clean up and do some work. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert a video of that today. Guys, so we are looking at what idea to do to create that privacy background that we wanted between our neighbors and our, ours and ended up thinking and thinking, I almost thought about a white shower curtain, <laughs> but then um, I thought about using uh, one of these patio shades. Um, even though we don't need to block the sun, we do need to block the view. So um, we get buy one of these really long ones. We have one of those in the cart right here. And it is an 100 and, 120 inch. It's basically one, or is it? It's basically this one, 120 inch. Oh, it's right here, let me just show you the one I'm buying. 120 inch and what I like is that it is it's gonna immediately make a transformation and it's $69 $64.69 I think it's that price $64 and it should create what we're wanting going for so yeah happy about this find let's keep on choosing other stuff right, I'm sharing with you some other um, stuff that I picked up uh, let's see um, one of the, the projects I want to get done is that the cement there in that area is really ugly and stained. So we want to do it all one co color. So I ended up choosing this one that it says it's for like patios and it's uh, dark gray. And it should be a satin shine to it. And it's all weather resistant. Uh, and it also prevents scratches. And we're going to be crazy and add some of this to it. To give it some a look to it like this that seems exciting to me and this is to paint those um, um cloth hangers that we have that are green and rusted we're gonna paint it like this and you're gonna see what we're gonna do underneath that so excited and this is for the table we're gonna sand it down and we're gonna um the long 12 foot table we're gonna sand it down and put this and we got it in this little it's called um, Cream in My Coffee Color. I'm so excited to see how that's going to look. So basically, that's the, the shine and protection. So, yeah. And then these little items that we need to apply the stuff that we're going to be doing. So I can't wait to see how this happens. So now it's the time to work, right? So I'm going to be working on these projects um, together with my husband. I will get lots of help. Um, so I'll be... Um, filming here and there as I do different things. So hopefully I can share with you guys the process of when I do different projects and um, I'll show you the end results. I hope it's what I envisioned or even better. And uh, it seems like it's not being too costly yet. So I think that's great. Um, like I said, I'm using a lot of pieces that people have given me, furniture pieces, and I'm trying to recycle them and use them. I'm purchasing as minimal as I need to. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this, okay? So I'll show you at the end my results and how the transformation of my back patio. I hope you really enjoy this. Hey guys, so we cleared up the porch and now it's cleanup time, which is not the funnest part of a reno, but it's gotta be done. So um, lots of dead leaves, three snakes spotted already, but keeping it clean is gonna help deter all these little bugs or animals. But I wanted to show you one project that I already finished over here. I'm testing it out right now with my cushions that I had purchased some time ago trying to renovate bake this uh, piece and uh, the biggest problem was remember it was broken these two pieces were detached broken wood it was hard couldn't just glue it um, so anyways I did a fast little ropey thingy here and I reinforced the other one that's not broken but it kind of disassembles so reinforced it and I'm testing out my cushions and you can't really see it so yeah I'm gonna do that and uh, Buddy seems to be enjoying it. Buddy, do you approve? Is it fun? So yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty good. It works. So let's keep on working. Okay guys, so we have cleared the floor 
and we are gonna paint the cement as you can tell it's a uh, very old it's it had huge crack lines and we just filled them up yesterday let them dry look how stained it is i don't know if you guys are experiencing something like this but i guess it tends to happen so now we have purchased this cement paint you see that and it's dark gray and buddies wants to come in the camera <laughs> and uh, buddy seriously seriously buddies men men para acá Okay, so we're gonna use this. Oh, we're thinking of trying this out, these little chips. And I wanna know, I wanna see, I wanna play with it in a corner and see how well I like it. If I like it, I'll do it to the whole thing. If I don't like it, then I won't do it. So anyways, this is your before shot. So we can appreciate how it was before. the finished product it's okay but it's not as light as I wanted it so I'm trying a lighter color over here uh, that was a fast one little coating and this is the same kind of brand but it's in the almond color sand almond let's see if this gives it the fresh and renovated look that I'm going for Project time. I covered my hair. I didn't want my hair to get dirty. <laughs> and we don't want to breathe in any of the spray painting I'm going to do or any of the sanding I'm going to do. You gotta protect yourself, guys. Put on some gloves. I don't want to get anything in my hands from sanding. So this is a table that needs some tender, loving care. We need to do this. So I was told we we're okay just by sanding it with. This is where we had a hand, a medium grit. And because this is just like a basically rustic outside table, it's okay if it's not 100% best quality ever. And uh, I was told we have a little machine, but maybe we'll pull, pull it out in a moment. But for now, let's see how it feels. Mm. Gotta be careful. Okay. So we basically want to sand it down, get all the paint off, and we're going to then put the fun stuff, the, the stain that's going to protect it and hopefully give it a cool color. Let's see if it comes out like I envisioned. Now I hate sanding, but this has got to be done. Okay. Uh, nope, this is not going to work. This is the orange, um, so I am shooting for something like this. Um, the color that's here, it's almost what we have here. So I keep t uh, saying what I want is just something to protect it, but and maybe make the little wood markings kind of accentuate them a little bit more, but I don't want so I'm kind of liking the color it is, but I need some kind of protection. So I have not been able to find that. I was trying to find one without any color and I couldn't find it. So I maybe must, I'm going to go talk to a worker at Lowe's. Hopefully they'll help me out. But um, I'm not loving it. Like even if it was that color inside there, I think I would love it more. I don't know. I don't want to do the whole table. So I'm thinking of just sanding this down and trying something different. Okay, so the orange was definitely not gonna work. And for some reason, there is no transparent at Lowe's. I've gone, checked, very detailed. All I'm looking is for a transparent weather protectant. There's none in stock. Um, and I even, um, so my only choice is to order something through Amazon. I found one that might work, but it wasn't ideal. It kind of looked yellowish. And I don't want yellowish either. Even though it's a transparent, it comes out yellowish in people's product, products of the wood. So the only other choice is that I had bought this previous, previously. This is, um, I got it tinted in 
cream in your coffee you see how it's a little bit creamy-ish it's not just white so and this is for exterior it's the same kind of idea it protects the wood so it's gonna do what I need it to do um, so I'm just gonna change up what I was ideally wanted it to be just transparent so I could see the wood grain but I think I just want to get it done and I think when in doubt go with white <laughs> because a light color with my whole look that I'm going for, I think at the end, I'm gonna love it. Um, so I, that's it, I'm gonna go ahead and go for it. So I'm using just a rag to apply it. I'm basically just gonna do this, you brush it on and then you brush it off and you do little sections at a time. So, so now that it's in, I'm gonna come back and try to brush off and spread it really nice and evenly. Fill in the grooves. And you see how you can see a little bit through it. You see here how you can see through it? It's not like just getting white paint and putting it on top. So that's what we're gonna do so we can protect our pretty wood. Take another section. I think the end product is gonna be nice. Okay, nice coated. I'm gonna put a little bit extra here. Fill in here these ridges. I wanna protect. Come on, soaking. Soaking. Okay, now I'm gonna try to remove, remove, remove. Okay, so this is the table and result. Did not go for the orangey color. I just went ahead and used something that I already had. It's also the same thing with the proofing. It's for outside wood, and this came in the cream in your color cream in your coffee color it is a little bit translucent but honestly we did a very heavy coating so it's not as translucent as it, sh I, it should be but still we wanted to make sure it didn't get any mildew in the future so leaving it like that um and i think once i dress up my table it's going to look very very nice i think it's going to go with the style i was going for um like i said gotta put it over there <laughs> See, I really worked. Got to put it over there. Going to go spray paint those things. And it's going to look really cool at the end. You'll see. So, like, the, it's not the color I wanted. I feel like it looks like the sun's been beating it for 30 years. Um, it's not refreshed and renewed. So, I think I'm just going to get some of the remaining paint of cream in your coffee color here. And it's also to protect wood. And I'm going to go for it. It's going to be my, actually, fourth attempt. I started with translucent. Then I did... Uh, I don't know whatever that color was khaki and i did satin almond and it didn't go go well so now i'm going to try my fourth attempt to get this a little bit nicer hopefully it'll work out i am so excited to get rid of this nasty <laughs> rust i think i believe this has been here since the beginning of this house and the house again is from 1936 and uh uh it, it was able to we took it off right so you know digged it up but then i got an inspiration and idea so now spray paint time let's transform this space You guys wanted to see the after so this is spray painted black remember how it was nasty green rusted look at the difference this bottle of spray can can make lights are on table is in its position now we are working on building some some benches to seat about i don't know six people per side yeah so we're working on this we're working on it was coming along um, we had the table we didn't have the benches so it's we're making these benches and um, it's, it's a little easier than what I expected it to be
beautiful. Keep them coming. Give me the nails. <laughs> so I'm really considering one of these palm trees for my backyard patio renovation. You guys will see later on. Um, I just looked up them for, well I was asking around the workers and they were telling me that this will not survive the winter so I'm not sure what the name of this palm is I'm gonna investigate it later um, but my plan is to maybe uh, either put it indoors and if I can't put it indoors I'm gonna cover it the best I can underneath my carport and maybe wrap it or put some kind of greenhouse right you know how we can get the plastic kind maybe the cheap kind maybe I can put that in the back backyard while well, it's winter and maybe hopefully makes have it survive but i just want you to take a look at it and tell me what the name of this palm tree is please look at the trunk i love the trunk normally i don't see these at lowe's or at big box stores with a trunk like this it looks like a palm tree so that's why i'm looking i'm really considering this one and you'll see how it looks maybe you guys can check see it soon 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 okay guys so this is a sneak peek of so far where we're at we have a nice floor already painted up we have a nice um, curtain and backdrop so we can give it some privacy and we have some of the curtains up some lights up I'll give you a more in-depth um, look as soon as I get all the decorative pieces here so we're gonna put furniture pieces and decorative pieces hopefully we can make this space inviting and homey I'm so excited okay so this is the sectional which is so cool because you can kind of, you have several options of how you arrange it. You can move it around as needed. So this is going to be the part where you can sit down with your legs out. Pretty fun. Let's get the other pieces. So this is the little table that it comes with. But I think I'm going to put it on the side because I have a, then there are plans for the middle. Now I'm just going to make sure that these babies are aligned a little better here. Okay. I need this space in the back for plants. Okay, this is gonna be for plants too. Okay, so now I got the pillows here, which is always fun for me to play with. So, and I have one accent um, blanket. that's always great to have in case you have a chilly night. We're gonna start by placing that there. And, and let's see. So I already put this one here on my chair. I have two sides to play with. I think I'm going to start with that one and well, let's see here. I'm going to start just placing them and then I'll play with them as I go. See where I want my accents to go. So that one here. Hmm, you know what? I'm now questioning whether that one. How about I pop that one there and I have these extras, but I might use them for another chair that I have coming a little bit. Okay, so the grill needs to go somewhere because that's the hole what invites everybody over is some food. So we're gonna have a grill, just upgrade it to a, a newer grill than the one we had was in terrible, terrible condition. So now we have this one going now. There is plants here, so whenever we grill, we're gonna have to do this, just like this. Yum. When we're done, we put it back. Not a problem, not a problem. Let's keep going. Okay guys, so I'm trying to get all my plants close to me with all my pots. So from here, I can start playing with where I wanna put them. Okay, so we're gonna start like this.
What do you think? This is how it looks during the night time. So we do have a, fi a gas fire pit here that we had bought and you saw it at the beginning. But finally it has a frame around it to make this space cozy. So this area is great on chilly nights. You can be here with your friends and just, you know, drink a little something and just talk. I think these are called uh, sitting conversational sets because, yeah, people come and talk. I, we experience it. It's pretty cool. Um, so I'm loving this. These lights during the night definitely, definitely brightens up the space. So I wanted you to see it during the night so you could see what it looks at nighttime. And even if it's nighttime, we can come out here and enjoy our outdoor space. And I think this is going to be very, very beneficial, especially when we're in fall and winter and it gets dark very early. So that's our table over there that we were able to fix up. And we have the lights going on over there too with the table, which makes it great because you can have dinners out there even though it's nighttime. So I thought that was really nice. And um, as you guys already saw, I have a video where I showed a little bit more of making of this space. I invite you to watch it if you haven't watched it, how I do a boho outdoor wall. So I want you guys to watch that. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you this tomorrow during the day and I'll give you more in depth details of everything, um, how I did it, what plants are here. I'll give you a plant tour of my outdoor. And um, I also want you to see that we have a pool. So far, this is the, where we're at with the pool. Um, we got some lights there, those are solar lights, but during the night, they give it a little beautiful, beautiful look. Isn't that, doesn't that look so real? Um, the pool feels great. If you might have go for a dip tonight, it's awesome to float around this and then look towards over here where all the lights are at and I've had friends over already where they're over there sitting down talking and some of us can be over here swimming and we can still be talking. So this has been a big transformation for my backyard and I'm very happy we went through the work to do it. It has been some work, but it's been so worth it. Um, so I want you to see it during the day tomorrow and I'm going to give you, like I said, a detailed um, of everything all the pieces that I have here where I got them from and all the plants that I have so let's come back over here and let you see it one more time at night time and then that's my dining room table long outdoor dining room table and tomorrow I'll give you guys a close-up and uh, maybe we can show you a view from over there over here can we do that please I just want you to know, get a little proportion of the distance where that table's at to this little spot. And then tomorrow you can see it during the day too. So I'm loving the way that table fin um, turned out uh, with the dark stain for the benches and then the lighter uh, white stain on the top or yeah. So I'm excited. This is our backyard. So I'm very happy with the results. I'm so happy you were able to see the end and how it looks during the nighttime, but this is not all. I will bring up another video where I'm gonna show you during the day how this space looks during the day. And I am gonna go in depth on every piece of decor here and also on my plants. Who wants an outdoor plant tour? I can't wait to show you guys and I've learned about some outdoor plants and I've played with more and I have brought in a lot of house plants out here. So in my next video, I'm going to go in depth on every plant that I have here, the house plants, how they're doing in transitioning to the outdoors, um, which one, what I've learned. So hopefully these tips and tricks will help you and um, don't forget to subscribe. That way you won't, follow, you won't miss the next video and you'll get a notification when that video is up. I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy it if you love plants and your heart beats fast for plants. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.